ability at any of those ranges, whether it be with a forward air or a down angled forward tilt. And you have to make that a split decision because, hey, that forward tilt is always coming it's out. It's always so threatening. It's like, dude, So finally, we got the Ganondorf. Yeah. We're, we're going back to the main up against John Numbers, and we're snatching him out of the air. Double King hoping to reset the bracket at least this time. Have a fighting chance. Oh my god. Oh, more than a fighting <laughs> chance. John, 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 you're looking a little cold there. You didn't get a chance to get oh. some, uh, you know, hand warmers there between sets. A little frosty. I mean, that forward smash covered the entire platform. Yo, platform down tilt as an anti-air? Dude, I'm going crazy. Dumpling King's so fun. Yeah, he's all right. Well, oh my gosh. Committed to the down air numbers a little bit behind the eight ball. Just okay. stand there. Just take the guarantee. Okay. Wow, that's... Yeah, John's gonna have to start just letting those Sun Salutations rip a lot earlier. Because even if they don't connect, at least threatens the space for Dumpling King's recovery. And look at Dumpling King always playing with his back to the greater side of the stage. He's making John hit him with something like full power Sun Salutation to close out a stock. Like always being sent back inwards is insane. Trying to read tech roll in, but numbers one oh. step away and then finishes the stuff. Oh stop. my god, he, he gets made it back! back. <laughs> Goodness gracious. The dark dive reached that high? Yeah. Crap it up. Yeah, that was a heck of a clip. Double King is okay, challenging that. Yo, the Oh okay. no, he missed it! Okay, that would have been hype. That would have been an insane double reversal. But these are the kinds of crazy plays that you have to do with Dumpling King as Ganondorf. Oh, you gotta yeah. steal out these stocks within like seconds. Dumpling King needs to play advantage as many times as he can. Because John is just so ready to call uh, to bait out an air dodge and face off. Trying to go for everything. So, so careful though. I respect the attempt, but man, we fit's edge guarding can be quite brutal with things like down air and the spiking hitbox of the header. We're in such an even game here, Swiss, as the number starts to pull ahead. I, for one, do not want to see part two of the highlight video. Okay, never mind. All right. That's going to be in the highlight video, though. Tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the finale of the highlight video. Yes. Only if Dumpling King wins the whole set. All right, yeah, probably. Probably is correct. That's but yeah, the correct. last time they played, the highlight reel like, really focused on how much Dumpling King could never recover. And it was like, how does yeah. Ganondorf recover? And I'm like... I, I think he took that to heart. He took that very Dude. personally. He's like, I'm going to show you how he recovers. He, he found like the one route every time he had to recover. It's mm -hmm. like, I'm, I've got to snatch up John with the dark dive before going back to ledge. And like, uh, he's nice. It's, he's playing around as much as he can with a character that has very, very limited options. Getting off of ledge, though, has rarely been a problem. Oh, the duck from John was so nice. He's going to have to start using that a lot more. Just kind of get through yeah. all these options, because what do you have left after that? You got down tilts? Yeah, good luck. And that's not bad. Like, down, taking a down tilt from Gandorf, typically, you don't feel too bad about that. Mm -hmm. You can even low throw about the dash attack, but only when you're facing behind. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's because the head is just a little right, too big. Yeah, she's, you know, but her feet's on the floor. All right. Dump King down, a st uh, up a stock here, rather, and up again. Yeah. No longer up a stock. In fact, it's it perfectly even after that forward smash with a deep breathing. I respect the use of the wizard's foot, though. Like, you're trying to catch John dashing back or getting caught in the initial dash in some manner. But, but John has been really patient today. He'll just actually opt just off to wait, as we saw with Star Force. He's like, oh, no, right. you come to me, and I'll see what your reaction is. And Star Force fell for it every time. And Dump King having to approach as Ganondorf is susceptible to that. Oh, greedy deep breathing there from John. Ends up getting blown up for it with the dash attack into up air. Tries to call out the early timing. Covers himself with the jab, though. Dumpling King holding ledge as best he can. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, he's not even trying to go for a smash attack. He's like, I can just boot you to the ground. So the getup attack, I thought he was going to punish with Dark Dive, but Dumpling King played to his win condition to take the stock, which was a tech chase close to the ledge, as Ganondorf tends to do. <gasps> Oh, my heart stopped in my throat. Punched. <laughs> wow, and then the hold down in order to get the final grasping hitbox. Just finding the ways to make it back. The oh wind box! Oh, my gosh. The wind box on the sun south pushes away the flame choke. Okay, no grab. Instead, we get that down tilt. I wonder if he could have reversed up tilted there. Either way, that's unteckable in numbers. On the verge of being reset. 
we're still in best of three territory because it's a Wednesday night. But this is, it's unfortunate no that jump. the Dumpling King isn't on winner's side because John is the king of running it back. Yeah. This man plays exceptionally well, always from a disadvantage. He took all of that damage just by using his jump a little prematurely. No way, no way! And we got a reset! You know, sometimes you just gotta let it rip. Yeah. It's like, I'm gonna fight my way back down to the stage, and you can't do anything to stop me. What's crazy is I'm surprised John didn't see that coming in any amount, because we see... It's not in this clip exactly, but there was a there was a down B attempt to get down. There was fast fall nair. It was constantly like hit boxes out of hit stun. Mm -hmm. And in this case, he used down air, either reacting or anticipating John to try and uh, get a little bit greedy and reach just ever too far. Uh, John was expecting him to panic and air dodge. Yeah, right. That's what he wanted. But now we got a reset. This is true grand finals. Can, can Duncan can keep this momentum up? You know, if he keeps playing like he has been, I would not be surprised. Oh, wanting John to either tech in place or tech roll away. Still able to make it back just barely. The header was a little bit too early on the part of John. You know, Swiss, every... Um, yeah, I was, yeah I was, you were saying? You know, I was about to say, for with every passing interaction, I have more faith that Dumplin' King can take this, and then, you know, he misses the tech. Like, well, oh. the good thing is you didn't curse him. Yeah, he cursed know, himself. You know, it's all on him. It's his fault, not mine. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, but I feel like we're going to see a lot more landing aerial options. Those happen working against John, who doesn't yeah. expect them. But Dumpling King has to take this next stock in the next probably 10 seconds. He looked for it. I mean, there was the up smash out of shield. Did not find it, though. Tex it that time as John misses the down air. So far behind the eight ball. But the sour dash stack up air confirm. Even with the knockback reduction from deep breathing, that is certainly closing out that stock. Okay, 120. This is nothing for Dumpling King. Nice tech. Always got to call it out. It might be routine for them, but it's you know it's a life saving for him. Speaking of life saving, oh, surviving oh, oh, oh. at 170 after the hit. Are you kidding? 181. The brawl numbers are real today. He's making. Oh, wait come a minute. On. Is that a th is that a thing? Okay, Lionel Messi. Wait, that was kind of cool though. <laughs> <laughs> Double King won it, and uh, Double yeah, King losing he, he it. Needed oh, it. Yeah. And then the SD from John, well played, well played. Yeah. Not gonna let him get grabbed again and allow Double King to make it back. Nope, going down with you. Okay, so do you even think we're gonna see a game three? John looked angry. Uh, John was angry. Probably not. <laughs> Could be real with you, Chief. John seemed like he was very determined to end it off the set. But yeah, give me that second stock again, because that was sick. John's second kill? Yeah, John's Se oh second kill. This was... Oh. I mean, it's a confirm at 181, but like, dude. Yeah, hold on. Soccer ball. ball there. Grabs. And then the... Oh my god. The back right? throw hits the ball into this at the same angle, because it's the same move, and it connects with the... Brilliant. I think that's my favorite kill that that's, John has ever that's, done. You know what? Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, we're just forward smashing for our life here. Doria! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got the Gerudo Valley music. Yeah. It's a it's almost on to try and jam to. Oh, just coming Ooh. down with these forward airs. I, I, I respect the forward airs in time with the music. True. On top of the uh, the attic, the extra little bit of distance he gets, and again, as you, like you know, mentioned you mentioned it last game. You think Dumpling King's gonna come down with more aerials, and he certainly has been. Yeah, because the grounded approach isn't really working. Yeah, it happens. John is too dominant in the air. But I want the No way, no way. Oh, come on, buddy, buddy, buddy. Ooh, he wanted to find the reversal, though. It's still hunting for it. Takes 54, dies for it okay. because he wanted the reversal. The greed was there. And John sprints his way right into the loving shoulder of Dumpling King. It's a good shoulder to cry on. It is. It's very large and broad. Okay, he makes it back. Ooh. All right, the bounce Good man. Call out. Yeah, I mean, the da ah! oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, the damage is there. I wish I connected. That would have been insane. I mean, we're getting... To, we're <laughs> okay, getting to, Jabba, uh, wake up. We're getting, to some, he's, we're getting to some final moments where Dumpling King is like, you know what, I need to take the stock now. You're at 63, that's 10%. Okay, you that need to extend the hitbox. That oh, ain't? No, 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 no. Not again, not again, not he again. He wants it. Oh, the spot dodge into... Oh, He didn't on. have enough time. He needed to up smash. All right, okay. Double King can still do this. But I believe. <laughs> Give him your strength. It's possible. Why are we like this? 
John is uh, John's being a little bit funny. He's being a funny guy. And uh, catching Dumpling King with the spacing trap. Deep breathing. Even without deep breathing. Down tilt on shield. You cannot grab it. It pushes too far back. And we Fit is crouching. If we're talking about vibes, John's forward smashes always feel like they're just a vibe check. Yeah. And he even says that. It's like, this isn't calculated. It's just me kind of feeling it out. Yeah, sometimes you get away with it, right? Like, yeah. Sometimes you just got to let it rip. And I like that about like general player base, right? Uh, as we've talked at length with Dumpling King, dude isn't really playing matchups. Like He's doing mm -hmm. it to some degree, uh, but he's really just playing the player and trying to feel out, like, what will you do? Huh? How will you play? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, this 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 stock was uh, gross. Literally just recover. Oh my yeah. Literally just go back to ledge. But he got to ledge. He was fine. But he got greedy. Oh my god. That's that's on Dumpling King. But yeah, but he, you see Dumpling I, King's moments of like, if I'm gonna play stupid, sometimes they work, and, and sometimes they bite him in the ass. There we go. And yeah. it really is about like him trying to play against numbers who he knows plays off stage a lot. So yeah. he's trying to catch that, catch the up B back to stage with something like a a dark dive or an up air or something in that nature, but. Yeah, John plays so optimally can we, that throwing out something stupid can throws Can we get the Looney the Tunes music on this clip, honestly? Please. Like, whoop, 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 whoop. like <laughs> so stupid. The we'll tunnel, go, we'll the get tunnel the Tom John. and Jerry screen. The tunnel, John. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Tom screen so fucking much. <laughs> and then, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to put it there. <laughs> He's just thinking, it's like, do we do it? Yeah, we do. Yeah. We're good sports even at the end of the day. Hey. Right. Dumbling King played well. Like, he yeah. played really well. He should be very proud. It was a yeah. much better time, I think, than the last time they played. And I think, you know, with a yeah, couple I mean, more sets set. in Grand Finals. Yeah. I think with a couple more sets, like getting to Grand Finals maybe two more times, I think it's going to be last stock, last yeah. hit. And Dumpling King will take it. Well, because um, DK and John were intended to play in quarters. Right. Uh, as seed one and four in the, the winner side of, or I guess that would be semis. Mm -hmm. um, but alas. Uh, I guess Dumplin' King got upset a little bit early, perchance. But do you want to look at the brackets? Yeah. Is this, oh, is this sure. what you want? Yes. Yeah, uh, well, when did Dumplin' King lose, and who did he lose to? Oh. Because uh... he was he didn't start in top eight. He didn't start in winner side. He started in loser side. Oh, good. He started question. in loser side of top sixty of top twenty four as well. Huh. So what? Dumplin' King, what happened? Dude. Oh, oh, Zooey. I think Zooey beat him. Star Force. Oh, Star Force beat him. Oh. Star Force is, uh... Yep. Yeah, right. the Pac-Man. Yeah, yeah, the Pac-Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Lost in top 24 qualifier and played a hell of a lot of sets in order to make it to second place here tonight. Shout out to Dumbledore. Yeah, job. great job. Especially for having the mental fortitude to go through all those opponents to reach Oh, John. my God, yeah. As Ganon and yeah. oh, maybe Bowser. And for the worst matchups, too. I mean, Sonic... Dude, there, were, there were Sonics Halutena. and Ganons. There, not Ganons. There, he's the Ganon. There were Sonics and Kazuyas and Palu. We so, I even saw Steve today. I was yeah, like, there no, was, no. There was a this Steve bracket today. is ridiculous. Dude, it was not the bracket for Dumpling King. Yeah. And yet, here he is in second place. You know what? True, true. Sometimes the player is, not even sometimes, most of the time, the player outplays the matchup. Either way, though, that is going to be it for Zeno here tonight. Of course, while you still can, every single Wednesday, it is right here at Zeno Zero Gaming in NYC at 20 on Ludwig Street, New York, New York. Make sure to check out the Twitch, which you can follow here at twitch.tv slash half 3000. You can register for the bracket every single week at start.gg slash Zeno. And if you're looking for any of the updates for Zeno Weeklies, as well as what is happening on stream moment to moment, be sure to check out at Devin3000 Freehouse. But... Yeah. Also, follow Devin anyway. And you can follow Devin or House of 3000 on all these other beautiful social media sites. Twitter, of course. But if you got Blue Sky, they just roll out DMs. You can also watch us on Twitch.tv. Throw us a sub. You have some Amazon money. Come on. Use the Amazon Prime for us. That's Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can catch all the recorded VODs off and on stream. And join the community at house of 1000nyc slash Discord. And if you like what you see and you're like, hey, could I hire you for my events? You can. They're for hire. Events at house of 3000.nyc. Shoot an email. They'll give you a good rate.
more House of 2000 events are going to be coming up in the future, of course, with Watch the Throne being announced at Gommel, as well as the stuff that's happening here in New York, things like Xenosaga for next month. Yeah. Which oh, may... I'm excited for that. Yeah. Yeah, it should go up this week. Pretty okay. sure. Yeah. Sick. And, uh, you know, you always have to come out here. I mean, I Xeno Zero Gaming weeklies. isn't going to be here forever. We're in the last few months of business here. You know, Xeno Weeklies will continue, but Xeno Zero Gaming itself as a venue, we got to enjoy while it lasts. So we got to send it off with a big one, of course, but that'll be for the next saga, for the next weeklies. We got to make the most of them while we can. But for this Xeno number three, four, five, that's going to do it for us. I've been Uwe, joined by Swiss Rider for these final few matches. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone.